Well, my name's Robert Hogg and I'm a Q Anzac Fellow here at the State Library of Queensland. The area that I'm researching is I'm looking at the letters and diaries of Queensland diggers of the First World War to see what sort of attachment or sense of belonging they had to Queensland. A sense of place and a sense of belonging to place is an integral part of uh, everybody's identity. So I am investigating what part attachment to place uh, played in the construction of identities for Queensland diggers in the First World War. Having the fellowship has, has been of an enormous benefit to, to this project. The State Library here has a very good repository of letters and diaries from soldiers in uh, World War I, some of them digitised, some of them transcribed, some of them in original form. The research is based on the premise that we construct our identities discursively, which means that when we uh, speak or write, um, that can be a process of identity con construction. When I've got a piece of primary material, just simply read the diary or a significant proportion of it to get a feel of the tone, um, to understand who the, the diarist or letter writer is. I would then go back and uh, have a closer read looking for particular references. Key words like home, the word Queensland itself, any uh, contrasts that might be drawn between the diarist themselves as Queenslanders and others who are non-Queenslanders. For example, one uh, letter writer clearly thought that the landing at Gallipoli was a Queensland achievement because the 9th Battalion, a Queensland battalion, was the first ashore at Gallipoli and he said, uh, once we got uh, ashore and held the beachhead, the other battalions from other states came to assist us. All these sorts of things indicate uh, how important a particular place is to an individual. As the project has progressed, it's pretty much confirmed my original hypothesis that attachment to place is an integral part of their identity and they manifest it in various ways. I was unsure about the variety of ways. It didn't occur to me that it, it, it could occur at three or four different levels. Sometimes uh, attachments to place could be very local. Uh, Sydney Sherwood, for example, came from Avondale, which was a sugar plantation just north of Bundaberg. He wrote that he wished he was fishing on the Colo River rather than being on the Western Front. So if you're thinking of uh, applying for a Q Anzac um, Fellowship, I would. It really makes things a whole lot easier to have a work environment that you can come into. Being uh, a fellow is advantageous. One of the benefits of the, uh, the fellowship is that there's been uh, a, f a flow on that I've been able to write a number of pieces, both popular pieces and academic, and that's purely as a result of the research that I've done.